Hello guys, Dr. Hasbullah here. So previously, we have found the equation for drag in the lamina boundary layer. And in this video, we're going to carry on and we're going to find the drag for the turbulent boundary layer. So we know that for turbulent boundary layer, the Reynolds number must be greater than 5 times 10 to the power of 5. So when we have the Reynolds number greater than 5 times 10 to the power of 5, you're going to be in a turbulent region, right? And the velocity profile of the turbulent boundary layer is different from the velocity profile for lamina boundary layer. Okay, let me show you how. Okay, and uh, if we have this flat plate, right? And you have two regions, which is lamina and turbulent. Okay, let's say this is lamina and this is turbulent. And if I take two lines, okay? one is orange in lamina and another one is purple in turbulent boundary layer and and i want to compare the shape of the velocity profile for these two lines okay and if i plot here the graph of y versus u over u infinity and for lamina boundary layer i'm going to use orange right and it looks something like this okay and you know that this can be represented by quadratic or cubic equation right but for turbulent the shape of the velocity profile is a bit different and it's gonna look something like this okay so the change of velocity from the wall is very sharp okay the velocity increase very quickly and it reaches the maximum very quickly as well right and to represent this velocity profile we can no longer use cubic and quadratic equation it just wouldn't fit right so we're gonna use what we call the power law okay and power law is quite simple actually it's much more simpler than quadratic and cubic equation when we deal with it later which is a good news. Okay, so for power law, it looks something like this. U over U infinity equal to Y over del 1 over 7. Right? <clears throat> and the thing with turbulent boundary layer, the denominator, the 1 over 7, the number 7 can actually change from 7, 8 or 9 depending on where you are in the Reynolds number. Okay, and for y over del to the power of 1 over 7, it is suitable for the Reynolds number that is less than ten to the power of 7. Alright, when you have when you have the Reynolds number between 10 to the power of 7 and 10 to the power of 8, you're going to be using y over del 1 over 8, right? And for Reynolds number greater than 10 to the power of 8, your boundary layer profile is going to be y over del 1 over nine okay so that's how the power law change depending on the reynolds number okay but for deriving the equation for drag of course when you have a different power which is one over seven one over eight and one over nine you're gonna have different equation for drag okay so at this point in time we're gonna try and use one over seven and derive the equation that gets you the drag equation I think you are already familiar now with how to derive the drag equation. First, we're going to need the tau or the wall shear stress. All right? We know that uh, from the von Karman momentum integral, the wall shear stress is equal to tau naught equal to rho u infinity square d theta over dx. Right? And theta is the momentum thickness. Right, and theta is equal to y over u infinity square integration from 0 to del that is u1 minus u dy. 
okay in i and if i bring the u infinity inside you're gonna have zero to del u over u infinity one minus u over u infinity dy all right and if you remember another equation of tau okay is also mu du over dy at y equal to zero all right and previously in laminar boundary condition we've used this we've used this to find the del okay so basically this equation we're going to equate it with this equation to find the relationship however however for power law right imagine when you have u over u infinity equal to y over del 1 over 7 right and if you want to find du over dy you're going to end up with u infinity this is and this is going to be 1 over 7 y minus 6 over 7 divided by del 1 over 7 right and if i rearrange it this is going to be u infinity 1 over 7 del 1 over 7 times 1 over y to the power of 6 over 7 right and at y equal to 0 right if we want to try to satisfy this equation okay and at y equal to 0 you're gonna have du over dy approaching infinity right and this is not right okay so basically this equation cannot be used when we are dealing with turbulent boundary layer this equation will not give us the accurate wall shear stress close to the wall right and so what we do next so what do we do without it okay so for this we're going to use the experimental result that is found by someone called Blasius all right and Mr. Blasius has derived an equation that he got from his experiment result and he tells us that cf is equal to 0 0.046 nu u infinity del to the power of 1 over 4 okay do you remember what is cf right so uh, before that this is called the blasius equation okay and and to solve for the boundary layer in turbulent region this is very important what we know from the previous video is cf equal to tau naught divided by half rho u infinity square okay and what do we do with it we know that cf is now using blasius equation so 0 0.046 no u infinity del 1 over 4 is now equal to tau naught over half rho u infinity square right so tau naught is equal to 0 0.023 rho u infinity square nu over u infinity del 1 to the power to the power of 1 over 4 all right and this is the tau that we are going to use instead of tau mu du dy right and this tau we're going to equate it with this tau right and in order to find this tau we're going to need to find the theta first all right so i'm going to write this again So from von Karman momentum integral, we got tau naught equal to rho u infinity square d theta over dx, right? And let's solve for d theta over dx, right? So d theta over dx is equal to d over dx of the theta, right? So theta is actually u over u infinity. This is from zero to del 
times 1 minus u over u infinity dy. Okay, and we know that our u over u infinity is y over del to the power of 1 over 7, 1 minus y over del to the power of 1 over 7 dy. Okay, and we're going to need to solve this equation to find the von Karman momentum integral for tau. Right, so this is going to be 0 to del y over del the power of 1 over 7 plus y over del to the power of 2 over 7. Right, and we integrate this against dy. Okay, and when we integrate this, you're going to end up with, this is y 8 over 7, 8 and 7, this is del 1 over 7, minus y 9 over 7, del 2 over 7, this is going to be 9 and 7. Okay, and it's time to put in del and 0. Of course, when you put 0, everything goes to 0. And so we need to replace with del. So 7 over 8, del 8 over 7, over del 1 over 7, minus 7 over 9. Uh, this is del 9 over 7, over del 2 over 7. Okay, and in the end, you'll end up with 7 over 8 del minus 7 over 9 del. Right? And that means you're going to have 7 over 72 del here. And to put everything back into this equation, so this is d over dx. Right? And then you multiply it with rho u infinity square. And this is equal to tau. So now we have solved for tau. And we get here tau using von Karman momentum integral. Okay. And this is our equation number one. And this is going to be our equation number two. Alright, so quite simply, tau is equal to rho u infinity square d over dx. This is 7 over 72 del. It's also equal to our equation number 2 that is 0 0.023 rho u square times nu u infinity del. So, rho u infinity square times nu over u infinity del the power of 1 over 4. And remember, this comes from von Karman momentum integral and this comes from Blasius equation. Alright? And now... And now, what we do is we put everything that is related to del on the left and the rest, we send it to the right, okay? So, let's simplify this equation first, right? So, I'm going to cancel out rho u infinity square, right? That's quite obvious, right? And I'm going to bring this del to the left. So, this is del to the power of 1 over 4 d del and move everything to the right, okay? So this is 0 0.023 nu over u infinity to the power of 1 over 4. Okay, and this is times 72 divided by 7 dx. Okay, and you're going to end up with 7 times 72. This is 0. 237 nu over u infinity 1 over 4 dx. Okay, and this is equal to del to the power of 1 over 4 d del. Okay, and I think it's quite obvious what you are going to do next, which is to integrate both sides. So you will end up with del to the power of 5 over 4 divided by 5 times 4 
equal to 0 0.237 nu times u infinity 1 over 4 x and if I want del on the left so I'm what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave del here 5 over 4 and this becomes 0 0.237 times 5 over 4 this is 0 0.296 new u infinity power of 1 over 4 x right and if i square root everything with 5 over 4 so i'm going to square root everything with also 5 over 4 so i'm going to end up with del equal to 0 0.0.296 to the power of 4 over 5 times nu over u infinity to the power of 1 over 4 to the power of 4 over 5 x to the power of 4 over 5 and I'm going to end up with 0 0.296 to the power of 4 over 5 and this is going to be 0 0.378 nu over u infinity 1 over 5 times x to the power of 4 over 5. Now I can do a little bit of manipulation so that I have the Reynolds number term on the right hand side. So I'm going to multiply this with x 1 over 5 over x 1 over 5. Right, so what I'll do here is basically I want this x to go into here. So this will form the Reynolds number. Right, and x to the power of 4 over 5 times x to the power of 1 over 5 is just x. Alright, so you'll end up with the final equation for del is 0 0.378 x. Okay, and this is divided by Rex to the power of 1 over 5. Okay, there you go guys. This is the relationship between del and x. Okay guys, so try and practice to get this relationship between del and x. Okay, try it over and over again until you can do it without looking at this video. And then you can continue and carry on and finish the derivation of the drag force. Okay, so good luck and I'll see you soon. Bye.